to spend your life outdoors for the months it takes to walk between Georgia and Maine is, to say the least, a sensory experience. So many things to feel and hear and smell, but also notice about the way things look, the textures, the shapes, but most memorably, the colors. When I started in Georgia, rhododendron and mountain laurel were the rare flare in an otherwise gray and brown world. In North Carolina, lichen, old man's beard, and moss were welcome pops of color. In lower elevations, budding trees were a welcome sight, and I took their growing frequency as a sign warmer weather was on its way. Little by little, buds turned to wide open leaves and summer surrounded us. In hot, sunny stretches, I was so thankful to return to the cool shade of the green tunnel. Even better if it was a dark rhododendron tunnel. Around Massachusetts, deciduous trees, bushes, and grass became less common as evergreen coniferous trees, moss, and ferns were becoming more popular. This new format of greenery was present for the rest of the trail, even when the summer gave way to fall. And sure, other colors were part of the journey too, but not as ever-present and ever-changing. Thank you. 
Thank you, Green.